All right, guys, um, I bring you a puzzling bit of information today. Um, this comes from, uh, Eagles drummer John Enley. Um, now, as we all know, the, the Eagles, as well as the rest of the world, lost a truly magnificent voice the 18th of January of 2016. With uh, the death of uh, Eagles co-founder and lead singer Glenn, F Glenn Fry. Now, um, as we all know, Glenn, Glenn died from complications from arthritis, along with um, many other um, health issues that he had been battling in recent times, and. Um, Sadly, he died the 18th of January of this year at the age of 67. And with um, one final tribute performance that the um, surviving members of the Eagles, um, Joe Walsh, John, Don Enley, um, Timothy B. Smith, and uh, Bernie ja Jackson, or whatever Bernie's last name is, um, they played the um, band's uh, first single, Take It Easy, as a tribute to Glenn. Now, as we all know, the uh, only other surviving original member that was not featured in uh, that last tribute to Glenn at the Grammys was uh, the band's original, but also like strain, the band's ex. Strange, a strange former guitarist, Don Felder, um, who obviously would have loved to participate in the tribute, but that's uh, really not what this video is about. Um, now, in a very recent article, this uh, just came out today, Don Enley has said he would be open to playing the Eagles play again. But are you guys ready for this? It's only with the exception that Glenn's son would agree to join the band and take his father's place. Now, this is, um, this ends me with, uh, mixed, mixed emotions, as I'm sure it does every single other Eagles fan, and possibly still even, um, the rest of the band themselves. Now, the thing with, uh, if Glenn's son were to join the band and the Eagles were to return to the road, sure, it, it would be great to see Gerald, Tom, Gerald, Timothy, Don, and Bernie get up there and still represent the part of the legacy that they that they were a part of and that Glenn left behind. But I just think even if Glenn's son were to fill in for his dear old dad, it just wouldn't be the same. Because, guys, in my opinion, you can't have the Eagles without Glenn Fry. Now, I know there's numerous other situations that you could attribute the death of a key member to a band's end and that they reform and it just doesn't sound the same. But even if one son were to agree to fill in for his dad, I don't, I mean, the reception would probably be okay, but I just don't think one son has the same vocal capabilities that his father had. I mean, that they have a, they once had the single most number one ranked album ever with um their greatest hits of Hotel California released back in 94-99. Um, but again, it's not confirmed whether they're uh, getting back together with the uh, grandson filling in for him or not. But as of right now, that's uh, merely speculation from uh, Don Henley himself. But 
I personally think it would be okay, but if it's anything like the Grammys, I mean, again, that Grammy performance was okay, but still, it just felt off. So, unless uh, Gwen really trained his son in the art of singing and in the art of singing their, his dad's own music, I think that if his son were to join the band and take his place, I won't, I won't even say that, fill in for him. I think it would be kind of a 50-50 shot as to whether it would be good or not. But as of this whole video, um, that's not been confirmed at this time. But I just wanted to know what you guys thought of this. I personally think that Joe, Don, Timothy, and Bernie should just leave the legacy where it is, but at least they are willing to not just hire anybody, and at least they are willing to ask Glenn's son if he would be willing to fill in for his dad so that the Eagles can take a proper goodbye bow, just as they did once before in 1980. Only the sad part is this time, if they do get to take that one last bow, Gwen unfortunately won't be with them, except for in spirit. So, my overall thoughts on whether the Eagles should tour again, my personal feeling is no. But if, if they do come back together with Gwen's son filling in for him, I would be open to seeing how that would progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, that's not been confirmed as to whether they are reforming with uh, Gwen's son or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, keep on rocking. And above all, rest in peace, Gwen.